it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. So it's the first of the month. I cannot believe it's already November. We are done with Halloween and we're just weeks away from Christmas and Thanksgiving and yay and holidays and family and woo and super exciting. Um, but that means that it's time for a, another favorites video. So I made a list of all my favorites for the month of October and I'm gonna share them with you. My favorite for the month of October for home is this Zydeco Chop Chop. It's basically like a dehydrated herb or thing. I don't really know how to explain it. It is minced onion, minced garlic, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, cross cut celery, green onion tops, and parsley flakes. Um, and it's just dehydrated. I put it in this um, old Parmesan cheese container and I just use it on top of everything. I put it in, I put it on top of chicken, fish, pork. I put it in with like hamburger meat. I've added it to like stews. Anything that you think could use those type of flavorings. Because it's dehydrated, um, it lasts forever. This is my second bag. Um, it comes in these bags like this. And I just put it in this Parmesan shaker so I have it easy, you know, it's easier than a plastic bag. But you should check it out. The next category is purse or what I'm carrying. And just like last month, it's my Michael Kors jet set. I still love this purse. Um, I don't see that changing anytime soon. Cell phone case this month is this um, glitter apple one. I believe I got this as a gift for, for my birthday from one of my old coworkers. Um, it's just like a silicone, just a silicone case, and it's actually kind of worn, but it does the job. My favorite song for the month of October is Blue Ain't Your Color by Keith Urban. I'll have a link for that song down below. It's just one of those ones when it comes on my Pandora or on the radio, I just can't help but sing along. It's got that like older country uh, music feel to it, um, which I really enjoy classic country. Normally, I would talk about my favorite movie for the month of October, but I honestly cannot remember a single movie that I've watched. So instead, I'm going to do a TV show, and that is This Is Us. This premiere season, I actually had more TV shows being DVR'd than I have in forever. Like, I'm not really a TV watcher, um, but I got into This Is Us, and I'm really liking it a lot. You should definitely check it out if you haven't already. My favorite food for the month of October are the Reese's Cups with the Reese's Pieces on the inside. I think I have a wrapper. But I, I think I have a wrapper, but I don't want to get up because my dogs are laying right here. And if I move around, then they'll get stirred up and I don't want them to knock the camera down. Um, but this is what it looks like. And they are so good. Like, I'm not really a fan of Reese's Pieces. Uh, I obviously love Reese's Cups. I mean, who doesn't? Unfortunately, it's something that I really can't eat as much as I want to because obviously it's really high in calories and fat and it goes against what I'm working towards. So, my alternate favorite is this Boom Chicka Pop in the caramel and cheddar flavor. I picked this up on a whim from Randall's during my Grocery Wars episode and it's so good that I have looked into getting it for the Amazon um, Prime Pantry, I think it's called, where they ship to you like once a month or whatever. Um, and I'm, I'm probably gonna do that, probably after January. So my favorite clothing item for the month of October, just barely squeezing in on like the 30th, are these llama pajamas. Super cute pattern. So I saw these being posted through my planner group because llamas are kind of like our mascot. And I was like, oh, I wonder if they have those in plus size. And usually Old Navy has matching pajamas throughout their whole line. So like children's, or at least little girl, women, and plus size will all have like the same patterns to choose from, um, in the past at least. But unfortunately, they did not have these in plus size. On Saturday, I went up to Old Navy and I bought these. And um, when I got home, I tried them on just to see how they fit. And they actually fit. So that's really exciting. I'm a little, you know, bootylicious, so they don't fit over my butt that great. But 
Um, I think within the next like 20 pounds or so, they should fit perfectly and I cannot wait to wear them. My favorite memory for the month of October was the road trip I took with Jen S and Jen C to the Michaels headquarters for the Wildfire Planners and Michaels meetup in Dallas. I really love getting to know more planner girls and spending time with them. I had such a great time on that trip. My favorite game is SimCity Build It. Um, I actually was surprised um, by how much <laughs> I enjoy this game. Um, it looks just like SimCity and you just like have to like you click on these things and you make residential areas and um, all that stuff. My top video for the month of October was actually the meetup from Michaels. Um, the vlog that I did while I was there, it has like 178 views, which is crazy. So hello to all my new viewers who came just for that video. Surprise, surprise, my top Instagram post was also about the Michaels meetup. Um, I posted when my vlog went live and this is my uh, top Instagram post for the month of October. And my last favorite for the month of October is my planner fave. Now this is technically not a planner item, um, but it is like a stationary item. It's this adorable alpaca uh, notebook that I have mentioned in a previous video when I did my Daiso haul. Um, I'm using it for my YouTube like notebook. I basically just keep track of like my wish list, uh, my vlogging ideas, my schedule, just those kind of things. Um, and it's really handy because if I carry it, I can carry it around with me and jot down ideas while I'm out and about and it doesn't take a bunch of space in my purse and it's super cute. For a more specific planner item, I did purchase this cover from one of the planner girls. Um, I'm sorry, I cannot remember her name off the top of my head. I bought this secondhand from her. I don't think she had used it though, um, but it's just really funny. It says, I hate inspirational quotes. Uh, which is, I mean, you think it's gonna like have an inspirational quote. It's like, you know, ironic or whatever you wanna say. So those are my faves for the month of October. Let me know down below if there was anything on here that I missed. Was there something that I should have known about? I'm getting really close to 50 subscribers and when I get there, I do plan on doing some sort of giveaway. And I'm also gonna be doing a Q&A as requested by some of my viewers. So if you have any questions for me, whether they're personal questions, um, or just like a general question, I would love for you to leave them down below. As you can see, there is a new in slate here. If you click on my face, that'll subscribe you to my channel. And you should also check out these other videos that were handpicked just for you. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button and I will see you next time. Bye.